Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of December 28th through January 3rd, but keep in mind that the timing is fluid, so we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Libra? Keep in mind that not every reading is for you, so this reading may not be for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Happy New Year. So what do we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Empress. Well, that makes sense now, doesn't it? So this is love in abundance for you. May have something to do with a mother as well. Some of you could be, you know, very fertile out during this time. There could be news of a pregnancy or a birth or something like that. But the Empress gives birth to a new life. So you are probably in the stages of starting a new life. Um, this is having plenty. A, this is like uh, receiving a gift. It's harvest time. Reaping some sort of reward. Glowing. You're right in your element. Anyway, okay. The Empress gives birth to a new life. This is a rebirth of some sort. Very, very beautiful energy. Time of abundance and love. Being loved and cared for. It's a very heartfelt, loving energy. Door, opportunities are waiting for you. Yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated. So you may be feeling tied down or frustrated. You do have other opportunities waiting for you. Um, this is a time of fertility. So take this as an opportunity for growth. If you, if you have an option that you have been reluctant to take my advice is to take it I think that you'll love it and it will bring you abundance now the Empress has to go through pain to get her blessing so you may be experiencing some pain or you have recently but there is a blessing that is coming. But it will take you uh, releasing whatever it is that has been causing you pain. So if you're feeling tied down or frustrated, that tells me that you need to, you know, the Empress has to deliver, okay? And it hurts, it, it's painful. So you may need to release the, some sort of pain to get the blessing that is right here as soon as you go through that door. There's something to do with a mother as well. You, there's a lot of love around you. A mother's love, you know, or something like that. And you may be feeling, you know, unsure. But I'm telling you there's a lot of love here. could be dealing with a Taurus or another Libra. There's a new door that is waiting for you to go through it. For some of you, you could be dealing with a mother that is frustrated. It doesn't have to be everybody. It could be you. And despair. Okay. Nine of Swords. So this is worried. Somebody is very, very worried. They're depressed. They're they're uh, stressing out, having a hard time. Very, very worried about something. Definitely worried. So somebody is extremely worried. They're worried about what's going to happen. Oh my 
God, Ten of Wands. So definitely overwhelmed. We have somebody in this reading that is extremely overwhelmed, okay? They're trying to do too much. Got a heavy weight on their back, carrying a heavy burden. Having a hard time sleeping, extremely stressed out. Somebody needs to... Uh, Maybe self-love is needed. It feels like there's a lack of self-love here. Um, and timing. There's something to do with timing. Um, definitely overwhelmed. Trying to do too much. Having a hard time sleeping. Very worried about something. King of Cups reversed. The King of Cups reversed is lack of intuition. Emotionally discontent. Somebody is definitely overdoing it. Very, very worried. Not listening to their intuition. There's a lack of self-love here. Okay, there is a lack of self-love. There could be somebody around that doesn't have good intentions. That is weighing another person down as well. Somebody is being weighed down by emo an emotionally withdrawn person this person is emotionally unavailable and they're being weighed down by this individual being held back still holding on to this individual that is not reciprocating emotionally you know knight of swords reversed And the four, holding on for dear life. Somebody is holding on to something. They're holding on. They're obsessed. This is an obsession. Somebody is obsessed with holding on to something that is causing them a lot of stress and depress depression. There's a need to let go, for sure. To deliver, you know, to let it go. To release that, that pain. So somebody is, is really struggling. They're tied to it. They won't, they're holding on to it. This is holding, definitely holding on to something you know, obsessed, obsessed with holding on. Um, now there's something about, you know, this is, this is mine. I don't want to let it go. I don't want to let it go. It's mine. And it's, it's causing a lot of, uh, depression. Okay. Knight of swords reversed. That is, I don't know. There could be some sort of clueless energy, uh, somebody may be clueless. They may they may not be seeing something clearly. There's a lack of clarity, um, a need to reevaluate. Somebody needs to reevaluate. Now the Knight of Swords in Reverse can also be moving very very fast. This is, uh, you know, moving too fast into a situation, not thinking clearly. Somebody is definitely not thinking. They're holding on not willing to listen, a need to slow down, a need to rethink things. Somebody needs to rethink. And they are thinking about it a lot, but they're unwilling to let go. There's an opportunity for a new life here because that's what the Empress gives birth to a new life, but it does require pain. It does. There is suffering here. Somebody is holding on to something when they, it's like they're just refusing to see, refusing to take action, you know? Now, the Knight of Swords reversed is, um, you know, I want to get another card because it could mean so much. It feels like it's, well, great strength, perseverance, Nine of so Nine of Wands, um, unwilling to give up this is somebody that is unwilling to budge unwilling to take a new approach we have somebody here that is very extremely stubborn just saying totally 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 stubborn um the clueless energy this is clueless holding on to an overwhelming situation. Closure is needed. Nines are about closure. We got we got a couple nines here. This is, there's somebody here that is emotionally unavailable and there's lack of listening. Will not listen to intuition. You know, will not listen. This is this is uh 
unwilling to give up. Somebody is unwilling to give up. There could be a fight, okay, with the Knight of Swords reversed. There could be a fight. There could be some, you know, there's protection here from a mother, just saying. But there is, there could be an, a fight that comes out of nowhere. This is explosive energy. And there could be some fear this week. There could be some fear over somebody's mental health. Somebody could have some mental health issues. Okay, I'm just saying, I don't know how that resonates with you, but there could be some mental health issues here. Somebody, you know, I'm, I know I'm changing this, but this just, there could be some, this just came to me. There could be somebody that is drinking. Okay, they're drinking and they get out of control because this could be out of control. Okay, so out of control energy. We have somebody here that is obsessed with holding on and they could lose their mind. Okay, and I hate to say that, but the, the Knight of Swords reversed is out of control clueless explosive energy you know and there's this is like oh my god what's gonna happen next so you know that could be in your thoughts you know that could just be a thought you could be worried what's gonna happen next we definitely have somebody that could be looking for a fight this person is wounded okay they're trying to prove a point because this is trying to prove a point somebody may be trying to prove a point this person is emotionally unstable Okay, they're emotionally unstable and they're overwhelmed. Somebody is overwhelmed. So, you know, this person likes to fight. They've obviously fought a lot of battles. So they, they may be wanting to fight again. So there could be another fight that is coming up. Could be dealing with another Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries. Um, I do feel like... Uh, Hmm. material strife five of pentacles so somebody is struggling they're very very much struggling they may have a vent, uh, victim mentality you know um, they may feel abandoned neglected ghosted left out in the cold and therefore they're ready to fight somebody is ready to fight And it's because there is going to be a conflict. It's because things are changing. Things are changing. We have somebody here that is unwilling to accept the change. <coughs> Four of Cups. So this is uh, ignoring something, missing an opportunity, uh, not interested, not interested. Somebody is not seeing that there's an opportunity. They're missing an opportunity. Okay. Somebody is missing it. They're missing an opportunity for love. They're just not interested. They've been, they're, they're, they're definitely overanalyzing. They're, it's like they're trying to ignore. They're being ignored. Somebody is not wanting a relationship. But they just, they just don't want it. They don't want to be involved, you know, and it's, Choosing not to see it. So I feel, I, I really feel like we have somebody here that is obsessed. They are obsessed with holding on to somebody that isn't interested. We got some, this is material trouble. So this is somebody that is struggling financially. There could be some financial problems here. And we have somebody here that is very worried. They're very, very worried about not being accepted. There, maybe it's because of financial problems. There is, I mean, the Empress, everybody wants to help the Empress. So there is, there's really no need to worry. I, there's no need to worry, okay? Especially if you're the, and, and I don't know if you're the male, we all have feminine in us. There is no, there, we have somebody here that is very, very worried. They're worried about, um, I don't know, not being accepted. But I feel like with, with uh, 
time, there will be some sort of acceptance because there's timing here. There's somebody that is, is definitely not seeing clearly. They're, it's like they're worried. They're worried about being uh, neglected, right? They're worried about it. They're worried about um, not getting a chance. But they're being given a chance. They're being given a chance, but they don't see it because they're focused on something else. There is an opportunity here that is being missed. There's an opportunity waiting for you. And this is an opportunity that's being missed because somebody is focusing on a loss. Somebody is focusing on a loss, not seeing that they have an opportunity for happiness. And they're letting their worries and their fears and their anxiety get in the way of their new life. So there is a new life here. But there's a lack of intuition you have somebody here that is over analyzing things, very discontent, refusing to see that there is an opportunity, there is some sort of support here. We have somebody here that is very, very guarded, ready to fight at a moment's notice, you know, not seeing clearly, letting their fears and their anxieties get the best of them. The Empress gives birth to a new life. There's a lot of stress. There's a lot of anxiety. There's been some sort of ghosting or, you know, um, abandonment. And there's financial problems as well. Somebody is struggling financially. And now they may have regrets. There could be some regrets with the Nine of Swords underneath. There's regrets for ghosting. Somebody may be regretting ghosting. And they may be trying to come back. If this person does not have good intentions, just so you know. With the Knight of Swords reversed and the King of Cups reversed, this is somebody that does not have good intentions. This person may be somebody is struggling financially. They may be coming back, offering love. And, and I don't know if this is somebody you live with or whatnot. They may look, may look and be, be looking for some tender love and care. You know, they may see your value now. They may see that you have the means to take care of them. You may have to make a stri painful, stressful decision as to whether you want to let this person back in. There could be an offer of love that is coming from somebody that is not really emotionally available. This person is maybe wanting another chance because they have been abandoned by somebody else. Maybe they've been run over, you know, and now they want to hold on to somebody that's stable. They may be looking for your stability, okay? They may maybe maybe they they see that you're financially stable. They're not and they're and they're coming back in to, you know, um get that uh, love and abundance from you, okay? Or, I don't know, it may have something to do with a mother. Um, anyhow, um, we have somebody here that is, it feels like this person is, is uh, I don't know, it feels like they have mental health issues, you know? They're in a hurry, too. They're, they're, it's like they come rushing in out of nowhere. And I feel like this person comes rushing in out of nowhere because they've been wounded. They've been wounded maybe by a third party or they've been wounded by somebody. And now they're offering you, uh, they're offering you. And I, whether this is somebody new or somebody old, somebody is coming towards you or your mother or somebody or your wife or something like that. I don't know, or your girlfriend or I don't know. Somebody is coming towards you for abundance okay they're looking for security they're looking for stability they're looking for love as well they're looking to be taken care of i feel like this person um has been ghosted they've been ghosted they've they've been uh struggling financially and they don't have good intentions so i think that you need to be very 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 careful this could be, have to do with a child as well it could be a child that is doing this um there is an opportunity waiting for you. It does have to do deal with going through a new path, going through a new doorway. Use discernment in making this decision. You're going to be making a decision this week that probably leaves you frustrated. 
I feel like you've come a long way and I feel, or somebody that you're dealing with has come a long way and I feel like you're going to need to, um, or somebody's going to be making a, a very, um, stressful decision as to whether they want to let this person in or not. And I, and I feel like, um, Oh my God, the emperor in reversed on the bottom. Now this could have to do with a father. It could have to do with a husband, somebody that is a business owner, somebody that is in a position of authority that has lost their power. They have, then they need, they have, they have been, they need a power boost. Okay. This is somebody that is very controlling, could be a narcissist. This is somebody that um, is angry because they've lost control over a situation. Uh, so, um, and I feel like there's there's this disorganization, okay? This person is disorganized. They've lost their ground. You know, they've lost their stability, and they want something to hold on to. So they're 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 coming your way. And I feel like this person could be dangerous. I'm just saying, with the Knight of Swords reverse, I feel like this is a dangerous individual who does not have good intentions, and you need to be very careful. And I hate to say that, but that is what I see. Good luck.